All right, uh, class, welcome to English 1301, our freshman uh, expository English composition here at El Paso Community College. Uh, my name is Lawrence Welsh. I'm a professor of English here at the community college, and we're going to today uh, talk about uh, the syllabus. We're going to talk about my calendar. We're going to look at the books. We're going to go over all my policies uh, for this class. Um, class, as I have already done, I've already sent you several uh, memos, announcements. I've also sent you the first two readings that we're going to have for our first major assignment, the memoir essay, and <clears throat> class, I've also uh, given you the course policies and calendar. I would print this out if you can. Uh, once again, this will be the Bible for our class. Uh, it will govern us for the rest of the semester, and I want to go over this. Now, a uh, class up top, it tells us that we are at El Paso Community College. It says that this is the syllabus and <clears throat> instructor's course requirements. And believe it or not, class, it is the, <coughs> excuse me, the spring of 2021. Now, underneath that, it's got course uh, number and instructor's requirements. Once again, English 1301. And then I'm teaching four sections of that class this semester. So this first section, CRN 21308, is one class. And then 21355. In class, that is the class that is going to be meeting in regards to deadlines Tuesday and Thursday, okay? And then this other class in regards to deadlines uh, 21288 and 21305, those are the particular numbers of the class. <coughs> that is going to be the class that is going to be working. We'll be working on a... Once again, a Monday and Wednesday, Friday deadline schedule. So make sure that you're either in, once again, 21288 or 21305 or 21308 or 21355, excuse me. And those are our classes this semester. Uh, let me turn off my phone here, class. I'm getting a phone here so we'll get rid of that good now uh, <clears throat> class then it says underneath there that once again we are in expository English composition uh, my name is Lawrence Welsh um, class I am a tenured a long time full professor of English here at El Paso Community College so I'm a full professor of English a tenured English professor at the community college now, um, if we were at school at the Viaverde campus, my office would be in A1208, but of course this is a virtual class and we're not meeting on campus. So, And then underneath there, it tells us that we all have office hours once again this semester. And, and so that's, that's flux, they're gonna be virtual. We will have uh, a sessions throughout this semester, most probably I don't know, every 10 days or so, I'll let you know an announcement when we'll have a question and answer session. And that means I'll give you the date and time. It's always on a Friday. Um, it'll be live and then you can ask me anything and I'll help you in any way I can it, during those question and answer sessions. So if you have questions that are on your mind and you don't want to bombard me with emails, which I'd appreciate um, or wait and ask me those once again in the question and answer sessions that we have. Uh, very good class. And then it says once again, text and materials. Uh, your main textbook is Richard Bullock and Nancy Daly Goggin. This is the Norton Field Guide. Once again, with readings, this is the fifth edition. Okay, so <coughs> as you've looked at your syllabus so far class um, you're only responsible for the readings that I have out of this book on the syllabus okay that's what you're responsible for 
if, if you have this book uh, that you bought online as a virtual book, that's fine. Um, however you get those readings done, you just need to get those done. Let's see how this flips around. Yeah, it flips around like that. So, uh, once again, you're responsible for those readings. I'm not getting a kickback from the publisher. So, as long as you get those readings done, however you get them done, class, that'll be fine. Uh, <clears throat> in addition, class, this is a book I'll let you have any, once again, version of. For If you go to English 1302, you will need the updated version for English 1302. But for my class, it can be any version. This is a writer's reference. <clears throat> We're going to use it as a guidebook. Uh, it says it once again on the course policies and calendar, a writer's reference with readings about literature, the ninth edition, once again, um, Boston Bedford Publishers. It says all on your course policies and calendar, Diana Hacker, Nancy Summers. Now this book class is once again uh, the Bible of the business and what the business is is of writing. So say you've been out of school a while, uh, you never paid that much to, uh, attention to punctuation, or maybe you did. 20 pages in here on class, how to use the comma. Once again, semicolon, colon, once again, periods. Punctuation marks in regards to quotation marks. How to use quotation marks correctly. It's all in here, okay? So this is going to be a book that you're going to consult. How important are all those things that I've talked about? So far, they're everything, all right? Uh, I'm an English professor, and grammar, important. Punctuation, extremely important. My job is to help you as a professor. But all that stuff is that's what I live and die by because I'm an English professor, all right? My job is to help you. <clears throat> Just as class, I was helped when I ended up at the community college <coughs> Excuse me, got a little allergies today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, many decades ago, uh, at the community college I went to in Los Angeles. So, uh, the community college changed my life back in the day a long, long time ago. And hopefully it can do the same for you. All right, if you want it. Once again, got to want it. Anything in life, you got to want it. You got to want it. You got to want it. And then you can do it. Who's going to make you do it? Who's going to make you want it? Got to, it's got to come from yourself. All right. And then you're going to hit it, 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 hit it. And I'm going to help you with that class once again. Composition, freshman level, university level, college writing. That's what I'm here for once again. To brush you up, to help you, to clean you up like my professors did for me. Once again, a long time ago. And just like you, I'm still a student. I'm still working every day, you know, trying to get better, trying to improve as a student. I'm not only a professor, but I'm a student. So, writer's reference. And then it says here, class, that you can use a dictionary. So, any sort of dictionary that you have, it says here, the American Heritage. I'll let you get another one if you don't have one. Um, the Webster's A New World. Dictionary is fine, just as long as you have a dictionary that you can consult. I'd like you to have a hard copy, old school dictionary that you can go through. And you can engage at class, once again. I'm like you. Uh, this is the uh, Samsung uh, iPhone uh, 1600. Uh, this thing is, uh, it can do everything, class. It can do everything. I'm not even needed. I should just put this up like this and, and let it do everything. Uh, what I'm trying to say, class, is <clears throat> I will look up words on my computer, too, and on my phone, too, okay? Um, and, and, and I go to the old school dictionary, too, that I have a bunch around the house here. Because, once again, the only way we can get better at the language is to engage it, no matter who we are. It's like with me, how's my Spanish going to get better? I have to speak it. I got to get out there. You know, some days I'm lazy. I'll go out in El Paso 
and I'll say, ah, I'm not going to speak any Spanish today. And then other days, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll say, you know what, I'm going to go out today in El Paso, uh, my home that I've been living in now for longer than most of you have been alive, and I'll say, I'm going to speak Spanish, only Spanish today. And then I'll, I'll try and get my rap on in Espanol. Uh, and sometimes my wife will say, who's also a professor, she'll say, you know, Larry, your Spanish isn't very good. You shouldn't be speaking today. And I say, you know, it's the only way I'm going to get better at Spanish. And my rap is going to become solid is if I work on it. Este uh, necesitar mucho trabajar en Espanol. I got to work. So it's the same with English language. Got to work. <clears throat> how much work? How, I'm still working on this. How much? How much? How much? It depends. But I'm still working every day in English. Trying to come up. Trying to come up. Trying to come up. The only way I'm going to get better at Spanish is, once again, um, if I work. So, class, the journey continues. The journey continues. Very good. So the dictionary, engage it, read, you know, read every day. Uh, <clears throat> I have students that I meet when I, all the decades I've taught uh, at the college there, or UTEP or wherever the hell I've taught. And um, I'll tell students, how much are you reading? Uh, Mr. Walsh, I don't read. You don't read, you don't write. You don't read, you don't write. You can't write. So say to yourself, you know what, I'm going to surrender to it. I'm going to read. What, what should you read? The newspaper, online, offline, on your phone, whatever, every day. Textbooks. Got to read. Can't get through college if you don't read. Read all the surrender to it. Mr. Welsh, I have difficulties. Life is full of difficulties. Mr. Welsh has difficulties every day, too. What am I going to do about it? Read, read, read. That, and that, once again, that helps you as a writer. It helps you as a writer. And remember, this is a university-level college class, once again. That's what I expect. That's what I'm here to help you with, once again. Sometimes I'll have students who say, you know, I'll pull them aside, and I say, you know, once again, how'd you get here? It's college-level writing, university-level writing, once again. I'm not here to teach middle school. Got to have those skills so far. But, with that said, I'm here to help you with those, once again. I'm here to help you. But you got to have, you know, those basics down. I'm here to help you with those basics and brush it up, all right? College, university level writing, not first grade English, not middle school English, not freshman year in high school English, but college English, all right? college composition. It's what I'm here to help you with. Then class, it says here that you're going to get handouts from your professor. That's me. All right. You're going to get those all semester long. The readings in the textbook illuminate the handouts and also illuminate my lectures that I'm going to give this semester. All right. If you don't, if you don't stay up with all of it, you'll be lost. Sometimes students will say, Mr. Bush, I'm lost. I'm going to say, have you read all my memos? You need to read all my announcements. Have you read all the handouts? Are you following the syllabus? Are you watching my lectures? Well, no. That's why you're lost. Okay? What you want to do is be found and not lost. Class, so, so far this semester, and I'm going to have another one for you tonight, once again, handouts, introduction, call to write. I already gave you this. Digest that. That talks about what, what we're going to be doing this semester. Right? That gives you an introduction. You've already read it. You've already had it. Then class, also you have this, memoirs, recalling personal experience. This is a springboard for what we're going to start do we're doing now. We're going to start doing now, once again. Our first major segment of study is going to be the memoir. The memoir is fascinating and I'll be lecturing on it in my next lecture because the memoir is about you, writing about yourself. And you know that already because you, you've read that and we'll be getting caught up. We'll be getting caught up and I'll be lecturing on that. But 
once again, follow the syllabus, what it says in regards to these two handouts. I'm going to have another one coming, I think, let's see, today, by the end of the day, certainly by tomorrow, okay? And then class, if we were meeting in class, uh, you would hand in everything in a pocket folder. But what you're going to do here is you won't do a physical pocket folder old school in class. You're going to send me once again. When the time comes, I, you never send me anything unless I ask for it on deadlines. When the time comes, each portfolio for this class will include a first draft, and then a final draft and then verification from the writing center that you workshopped your essay in the writing center. I'm gonna help you with that. If I don't see a first draft, a final draft, and writing center verification, won't grade your portfolio, right? Everything's gotta be done. The writing center can help you. Will the writing center correct all your errors? No. Will the writing center give you all the skills of the English language if you're lacking in them? No. Will the writer sending help you? Yes. But once again, we're in college now, it all comes back to you. All right, to you. Are you gonna correct your mistakes? How much do you have to work? Where is your skill level at? I'm here to help. I can't do it for you. You gotta do it yourself. How hard are you going to hit it? How hard do you need to hit it? Okay? I'm still hitting it every day myself as a writer. All right, class? I'm trying to, like you, um, that's why I think I'm an effective professor is because I'm a writer. All right? I've published 12 books. My last two books were published from the University of New Mexico Press. It's not a bragging thing. I've been writing every day for 35 years. In Los Angeles, I was a newspaper reporter for five years and then made my living as an editor. I'm still writing, I'm still trying to improve, all right? I'm trying to come up, I'm working hard. I'm hitting it, 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 hitting it. The question is you're gonna have to hit it too. All right, that's what we're here at college for. How hard are you gonna have to work? I don't know. Writing takes me a lot of time to do it right. And that's what I'm expecting out of you. I'm here to help, not to hurt. We're here to work. If your professor's gonna work, you're gonna work, okay? And I teach this class exactly the same if I was teaching at the university or at the college, same thing, all right? Excellent. So. Throughout the semester, I'll be giving you these handouts, send them to you, pay, pay close attention to them. And once again, this tells us what we're doing so far this semester. Now, class, and then, you know, uh, this attendance and deadlines, we don't have to talk about attendance, because once again, you're gonna do this at your own pace, we're gonna be pacing it along, but you are gonna be making deadlines. It says under deadlines, late work is not acceptable and will be penalized one letter grade for each day it is late. You're writing this important part of the text for this class, so all the drafts and uh, writing center verification need to be turned in on the day that they are due. And I'm gonna take it one step, one step at a time I take this class. We're gonna have to jump out in the future. Sometimes a student look at the syllabus and say, hey, Mr. Welsh, well, I don't understand what's going on in essay number three. You don't need to be worrying about essay number three. We're dealing with the first essay. We're taking things one step at a time. And then we take the next step, and then we take the next step, and we're gonna do building blocks, right? Right. Sometimes I, I asked someone a few years ago, I saw someone, uh, I was going down the street with my wife, and I saw him back of a truck, it said one step at a time. I turned to my wife and I said, well, what does that mean? I'm, I, that's crazy, what do they mean one step? She goes, I think, they're talking about recovery programs, one step at a time, one day at a time. Things like, I said, what do you mean? She goes, things like recovery things where people are trying to put their life back on track and things like Alcoholics Anonymous. People are trying to recover from alcoholism and tell them, 
take it one step at a time, one day at a time. Don't get overwhelmed. Just don't drink today. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. Just stay in the day. Don't drink today, they tell people. Tomorrow, you try and not drink again. If you mess up, so what? One day at a time, one step at a time. Watch how we're going to do this class. I'm here to guide you. So, class, now we're going to move to the next page. It tells about our uh, requirements in here, how you're going to earn your grades in. Some of this stuff will be, throughout the semester, it tells us, will be adjusted because this is a virtual class. Okay? It'll be adjusted. I'll let you know. I'll tell you if I'm going to drop an essay or we're going to switch things around a bit because it's, it's this... We're still in this pandemic class, and I know that. I'm trying to help you all, trying to get through this. So there'll be some things. It talks about here essay preparation. I'll show you ahead of time before your first essay is due exactly how your essay is going to look, class. And your essay is going to look exactly like a college-level essay did 100 years ago. It's only going to be virtual. I'm going to give you the layout. I'm going to give you the design. I'm going to talk about the spacing. It's part of my job as a professor is to help you. So when you go on to, say, for example, Harvard, or you go to Berkeley, or you go to UT El Paso if you want to head there, or you go to Texas where my daughter is right now, my daughter who went to El Paso High, who went to the Canadian College, and is now at the University of Texas at Austin. You'll have those skills to survive in those places. I'm going to help you with all of that. Class, and then it talks about, once again, and I'll talk about that. I'll let you know everything needs to be turned in when the time is here for turning your essay. And it talks about the grades. First essay you need to know about writing from recall. It's a memoir. 20% of your grade. Look at the rest of those percentages. Okay. And then, class, we get into the... Once again, here we're getting into my um, calendar. So, today is, once again, what is today? The 27th. So, those introductions, class, I gave you that sheet that talked about me, my interests, my work. Send those to me by, if you haven't already, uh, you can send those to me uh, by Monday. Monday and a lot of people are having it's all right that's just something for me to once again get to know you okay so I'm gonna make a note here that once again that deadline will be Monday uh, for once again notes and I, and I read those so that's how we're gonna do that this semester if we were in class we'd have a thing that we did where we work with each other for those but for those just send them to me in class I'll look those over all right so you want to have those to me by Monday, okay? And um, good, this upcoming Monday. Excuse me. Good. Now, so class already then, we've taken care of that. You've read the, once again, handout about what we're going to be doing this semester. That's the next thing on here. Call to write. So you know what you're being called to. And then uh, it says we're 126. Once again, I'm 120. These two different classes, either 126 class or 127 today. Uh, yesterday and today, I needed you to once again read, uh, once again, throwing snowballs. Okay, I mean, reading memoirs or calling personal experience. Be prepared to answer the critical inquiry questions at the end of this handout. So, now, class, in here, once again, in here, we had our, a memoir. I want you to really uh, bear down on this, once again, by Gary Soto, the great Chicano writer, Black Air. Read that. This type of writing you're going to do. Am I expecting you to be Gary Soto? No. Who am I expecting you to be? Yourself. All right? But read it. Because this type of writing you're going to do for me, we're not there yet. 
I'm not there yet. So read Black Hair by Gary Soto. And then look at these questions. Do I want you to turn in these questions for homework? No, but I want you to be familiar with them and take some notes on them. Remember, don't ever turn in anything until I ask you for it, all right? This homework is for you. Do not turn it in to me until I tell you I want something, and then you'll turn it in. So look at that, that essay, Black Hair class. It's a man, uh, at least a middle-aged man, looking back on it, his life and remembering what it was like to be a 17-year-old runaway. In California, Caliphus, as some people call it, right? All right. So there you go. So that should get you all set up. Now, it says for the next uh, deadline, I am going to be giving you these handouts for the next time we meet. We got, uh, I'll hit, hit it up today for you. Later on today, you'll get this handout that says Read Throwing Snowballs. Right, and then read in your textbook, 224 to 232. Be prepared to answer the questions at the end of these readings in class. And we're going to have virtually, once again, you, you will be thinking about examples of writing from recall essay. I'm going I'm to lecture on that and give you some, okay, uh, in my next lecture. Read about a writing from recall essay on 170 to 172. I'll give you that hand. By the end of the day, respond to several of the invention questions on 171 to 172. I'm going to lecture on that next time. And we talk about do this for two important events of your life. Be sure to write about the significance of each of those events. And then, once again, if we were in class, we'd be discussing the selection of topics for this essay. So, for right now, and, and that's going to be on 129. For class number 21288 and 21305. And for the other classes, class 21308 and 21355, that's going to be, you know, tomorrow. Okay. That you're going to, in the next few days, you're going to read over that and you'll be thinking about it. These new handouts. And right now, when you get this reading done, start thinking about loosely. Possibly, what might you write a memoir about? I'm going to help you with these things. I'm going to lecture on them. Okay. What may you want to write a memoir about? All right. It's got to be something big, but that'll be the next lecture. It's about once again. But, but look at Gary Soto. The beautiful thing about reading is what happens to me when I've read this essay. And then I'm going to have a, another example from a woman that I'm going to give you tomorrow. We have a man, we have a woman. Well, it's like to have both energies. Um, that one throwing snowballs. When we read, we can once again, we get springboarded, right? Into possibly thinking about, you know, uh, this is Gary Soto's experience. What is mine? You know, or maybe that'll make you think about when you were 17. Or maybe when you were 9 or 10. Or for some students in my class, maybe when you, they were 25. You know, it's a beautiful thing about the community college. We get all age groups. And uh, you start thinking about that, you know. And when we read about someone else's life, it's a springboard for us to think about our own. All right. Where we are, what's going on, et cetera, et cetera. Now, so there it is. That's the course policies and calendar. That's where we are. It's going to be, uh, for the rest of the semester, it's going to be our guide on where we are, what's going on. Stay up with this. Stay up with the reading. Stay up with the handouts. Stay up with my announcements. Come to my lectures so you don't have to say, Mr. Welsh, I'm lost. All right. If a person does get lost, it's going to be your job to get found. Right? My community college was intense that I went to. And the, the, the good thing about it, it was, it was uh, back in Los Angeles in what's called the South Bay of Los Angeles. And it was called Change My Life class. It's called El Camino, right? El Camino 
in Spanish, the road that we walked down. It's still there. And so many of us that went there revolutionized our lives, okay? Became writers, became teachers. Some of, I had a friend of mine who I was in a band with, became a medical doctor. Another guy ended up getting his uh, master's degree from USC in electrical engineering. But we were all from the community college, you know. And some of us, when we started, we were 22, 23, 24, you know, and we wanted something new. Some people can start the community college at 18. Always ask yourself, am I ready? All right, am I ready to hit it? Do I want to hit it? And then, you know, you do the best you can. It's hard to be somewhere when you don't want to be somewhere. So my hope is that you'll find something and you'll want to be here. That's the beautiful thing about college. It's not high school. High school, they make you be there. College, nobody's going to make you do anything. You get to decide, you know, do I want it now? Do I want it never? You know, who knows? It's a great thing. I'm glad you're here. El Paso Community College, English 1301, with Lawrence Patrick Welch. All right, I'm a teacher and a professor. Now, let's see if I've gone over everything. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah, class, and if you ever need all your work that you turn in this semester, we'll keep it real simple. You're gonna send it to me over Blackboard messages. Okay. So say when the time comes, I don't wanna get ahead, and I'll tell you, you know, the deadline is, and I've walked you through all the steps. You'll send a first draft, final draft, writing center verification. Just send it through Blackboard messages. If you need to talk to me ever, shoot me out a, a message, an email over Blackboard messages. All right? Now, let's see what else. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. So we talked about, you get those notes about me in on Monday. If you wish, that'll be fine, class. I just, that's not going to be graded, but it's a light little assignment so I can get to know you. And then, class, one other thing I want to finish off with today is this. Let me get a drink of water here. This is very important. Remember, class, that this is a communication class all right so we're we're it's an English class but it's also a communication class and we're communicating when you ever if you're ever going to write to me and send me an email all right and that's fine and I like to see those because you're going to have to send your work into me anyways class remember that when you write to me you are not sending me a text. You are sending me a letter or a short memo or a missive. When you write to me, make sure you have your writing as perfect as you can get it. All right? Complete sentences. Punctuation. Follow all the rubrics of correct English language and composition, all right? And so when I pull it up, I'll say, wow, look, that student can write. There's an educated student or someone who's trying, you know. So remember, do not send me like you're on your phone sending a text where there's no grammar, no punctuation, no nothing, all right? I want, once again, when you write to me, Show it. Always remember when you're sending someone an email that you're a professional, right? I don't care what you do with your friends, but I'm talking about college, university, at a job. You know, you want to let your, whoever you're dealing with, that you are literate. So take your time as best as you can. Give me a complete sentence. Look over your grammar. Look over your punctuation. Get it as literate as you can. Because sometimes I've gotten these emails from students and I'm like, you graduated high school? You're not showing me that. 
Okay, you're not showing me that. You went to first grade. You're not showing me that. You learned basic composition in middle school. You're not showing me that. Show me it. Let me know as best as you can. Because class, finally, this is the last house on the block. This is where we clean it up, okay? And I'm here to help you with that. There's some people who didn't get the skills they needed in high school, okay, to pass a university level college uh, composition class. Now, I'm here to help you, all right? Uh, if you didn't get the skills, this is the last house on the block class. Now is the time. Now is the time to clean it up. It was the same for me, class. My junior and senior year in high school, I didn't do too well. I'd like to tell you that I was an all-star, but I wasn't. Okay. I had a bad junior and senior year. I won't go into particulars, but I was, uh, last two years of high school, Mr. Loser. All right. My mom used to always tell me, you're running with the wrong crowd. My mom would tell me your friends are losers. I'd say, well, mom, maybe I'm a loser too. Why don't you get some new friends? I'd say, mom, they're my friends. It was back in South Central Los Angeles where I grew up in the ghetto. So when I started the community college at the age of 23, I had a lot to make up. I went to the writing center and I remember that uh, there were some concepts I knew and some I didn't because like I said my last two years of high school I didn't do too well at all barely graduated but then when I got to the community college it was like all right all right I know what I got to do I got to clean it up I got to hit it 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 okay and that's what I did I worked my ass off at the community college to try and bring my work level up, my writing level up, you know, to get real serious. So I could, I knew that if I didn't clean up the basics, I wasn't going on to university. I wasn't going to be college educated. I wasn't going to go to graduate school. So that's what I'm here to help you with class, just like my professors did at the community college that I went to. They changed my life. Did they do it for me? No. Who did the work? I did. Once again, but they helped me, all right, by letting me know when I was doing deficient work. And I will grade your essays, all right? My son and my daughter, my son is still at El Paso High. He's a junior. My daughter went to El Paso High. Sometimes, occasionally, they'd have teachers where the teachers wouldn't even grade their essays. I'm going to grade your essays, okay? I'm going to hit everything on them to let you know where you are. Otherwise, what the hell type of teacher would I be if I'm not grading your work? All right. It's frustrating. Plus, they've also had very good teachers. Some teachers, it's like, you know, giving them grades back without any comments on the paper. How the hell are you going to learn if a teacher doesn't give you comments and grade your work? I'll hit everything to let you know where you are as a writer. And then once again, to help you go on from there. All right, class, very good. So I'm happy you're here. Once again, this is a great place. Get ready to work. You are working. I have another handout for you. Um, I wish you well during this pandemic time. I hope you can stay safe and well. My prayers for you and your family are that you stay well. And then class, I'll leave you as... Um, the Irish always do. <clears throat> I'm 100% Irish American. Interesting, we just got an Irish American president, Irish American Catholic president. That's uh, who I am and what I am with my mom right from Ireland. And in Ireland, they always tell you good luck, 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 good luck. So I'm wishing you good luck, class. Let's have a great semester. Welcome to English 1301. And welcome to El Paso Community College. You'll hear from me soon again. Bye-bye.